evening, friends. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So nice, nice to have you here in this space with us. And if you're with us online as well, welcome. Good night. I am Pastor Jason, one of the pastors from Montford Heights United Methodist Church, here to provide really the bulk of the workforce to tonight is our musical staff of both Jeff and Todd. That's right, we had to call them both in here tonight. And we have friends, we are here for Tap Into Faith, a fresh expression of church, rather Montford Heights United Methodist Church, where we know that sometimes that Sunday morning, getting up and getting to, to church is a challenge, or it's daunting, or there's some baggage there. But if you'd like to come out and get a beer and maybe a snack and a bite to eat and hang out and meet some new folks, like say here at Westside Brewing on a Monday night, friends, that, that's going to work just as well. It's our pleasure to be here tonight. It's our honor to be here tonight. And if you've been with us for a while, that's going to be a little bit different, a little bit of a, of a different format, a bit of a different flow. It's been a big weekend for some of, of us, some of us have kids who are almost done with school. With school. Some of us have recently grad, graduated as well. So but why not just take some time here tonight as we get ready to kind of embark on the summer, just take a bit of a step back and just do some singing. A little bit less preaching tonight, a little bit less probing with the discussion questions tonight. You're welcome. So a little bit off of our normal format. Jeff and Todd each have a few songs for us. If you're here, we have the lyrics are printed for you to sing along with. If you want, we didn't post those in the discussion if you're home with us as well. I well, want to look those up. So if you're with us online, check in, say hi. Let us know that you are watching. Let us know where you are. If you have any questions or if we can be praying for you, leave all that right there in a comment. I think it's going to be a great night. I think, think, think it's going to be a fun night. The first song Jeff is going to come up here to play for us will be the first song that we played at the very first tap into faith. It's a song called Rise, written by Ed, Ed, Eddie Vedder, frontman of the world's greatest rock and roll band, Pearl, Pearl Jam. <laughs> and we tied it into a lesson on that night that comes from the Gospel according to Luke. This comes from Luke 4, just verses 16 through 22. I'm going to share from the message translation. translation. This is Jesus at the very, very start of his ministry. It says, He came to Nazareth where he had been reared. And as he always did on the Sabbath, he went to the meeting place. When he stood up to read, he was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it was written, God's Spirit is on me. He's chosen me to preach the message of good news to the poor. Sent me to announce pardon to prisoners and recovery of sight to the blind. To set the burdened and battered free. And to announce this is God's year to act. He rolled up the scroll, handed it back to the assistant and sat down. Every eye in the place was on him intent. Then he started in. You've just heard scripture make history. It came true just now in this place. All who were there watching and listening were surprised at how well he spoke. But they also said, isn't this Joseph's son? The one we've known since he was a youngster. We, we tend to label ourselves, we label each other, we look at the demographics from where we're from and where we're, and, and where we grow up, we look at the circumstances surrounding our life and we think that that places limits on who we are. Even Jesus had to deal with the fact that in his hometown, his people didn't quite recognize who he was. And that's just Joseph and Mary's kid. What's the big deal? What we know, though, is that through Jesus, we all have the opportunity, the possibility to rise above our circumstances. To rise above who we think we are, who the world says we are, and grow into who God calls us to be. So, 
the opportunity <laughs> is to rise, and it's available for each and every one of us. So Jeff's going to come up and get us going with rise. Todd's going to have a few songs. going to check back in just with one quick scripture le lesson in the middle. But more of tonight, friends, is just a chance to sit back, relax, unwind, and sing along to you some good, good music. Sweet.
with an early one on the subject of love, and we wanted to open out that everybody who's had kids or might be a kid, <laughs> or a kid at heart, would know and be able to sing along to. Didn't realize until late this afternoon that I picked two Elton John songs and they came up in a row. But it's fine. <laughs> it works.
something to interject, something so that so that we don't leave feeling like we haven't hit a scripture, so that we haven't been reminded of something of just the utmost importance, some kind of truth that we can't be hit over the head with it enough because we tend to forget it far too often. And as I flipped through, I found one, and this is a black pin, by the way, not a green one. But this comes from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. In the Bible, it's the book of Romans. Chapter 5, just verses 6 through 8. This is the New International Version. And Paul says this. He says, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I wish it didn't hit me so hard each time that I read that passage. I, I wish I didn't feel the need to be reminded of this so often, but every time I come across this, I realize just how much that I'm caught up in trying to earn God's love. How much I strive and try to prove, try to prove myself be it to, to God or to other people, to prove to the world that I'm, I'm worthy. What Paul captures here in a couple of verses, though, I mean, is nothing short of transformative. He, he uses a metaphor of, look, no one's going to lay down their life for a good person unless they really have to. Maybe, maybe if they if it's a really great person, someone will hurt themselves in harm's way. But for the ungodly, for the outcast, for the downtrodden, ah. but he flips it on its head and tells us that God demonstrates his love by doing it differently. God demonstrates his love by coming to die for the sinners, not for the righteous. We don't have to get it right to earn the salvation. We don't have to get it right and have a good understanding. We don't have to have the answers to all of the questions. Because it has nothing to do with us. God makes the first move towards us. God comes to where we are. While we're powerless and while we are still sinners, that's when he chooses to come and die for us. I think about that. I think about some of the people in my life who I kind of hold back really loving. Because I expect something from them first. I expect them to make the first move. I expect them to ask for help. And I'm reminded how far I still have to go. Because God demonstrates his own love for us in this. Well, we are still sinners. That's when he died for us. So if, we have to, so if we want to pull out a central theme from the last few years of coming down here, I think there have been some pretty good topics. I think that's the one that I'm going to hang my hat on for tonight. That's the one that I want to echo for us tonight. That's the one that I want us to leave with. Got a couple more great songs for us to sing. I'm just going to come up here and say a prayer at the end of it. And then we're going to hang, hang out, just enjoy the rest of our opportunity to be 
together. But, yeah, friends, thank, thank you for the indulgence. Thanks for putting up with an unorthodox and a very, very different service tonight. Jeff. <laughs> Um, so this song is called uh, Be Still. Um, it is by The Fray. Uh, again, when Jason kind of mentioned this, uh, we were just spitballing some songs that we had done in the past that kind of stuck with us. And uh, he had mentioned this one, and this is one of my favorites that I kind of go back to um, just when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling discouraged, um, just knowing that, uh, that God is with me through it all. So.